Good morning, Year 8. Your tasks this week on my maths are on area and perimeter. I'm going to talk you through it and then go through the tasks that you have to do. The numbers I will have are obviously going to be different to yours. You may choose to watch this. Some of you may not need it after you've been through the lessons, and that's fine. Those of you who do find this too easy and get it all done very quickly, if you let me know, I'll give you something harder to do. Okay, so things you need to know. The perimeter is the distance around the shape. So if you look at this, it's a rectangle. You need to remember top and bottom are the same, so that will be five centimeters, and this will be two centimeters. So my perimeter for this will be five plus two plus five plus two, which equals 14. And don't forget to put the units in your answer. So the answer to that is 14 centimeters. You need to know the rules for the area of your shapes. Rectangle equals length times width. So an example here, the area will be five centimeters times two centimeters, which is 10 centimeters squared. The triangle, the area is base times height divided by two. So in this example here, we've got a base of six centimeters and a height of eight centimeters. So it will be six centimeters times eight centimeters divided by two. Six times eight is 48 divided by two, which is 24 centimeters squared. And one thing I forgot to say, units of area are, are squared. So centimeter squared, meter squared, millimeter squared, and so on. What I've got here now is a parallelogram. It's got two parallel sides here, which we indicate with arrows, and two parallel sides here. Now the area of a parallelogram equals base times perpendicular height. And sometimes, as in this example, you've got three different numbers here, and it's, it's tricky sometimes to work out which one to choose. Base is here. Which one of these are a perpendicular high? If you don't think very carefully, you'll assume it's going to be five, just like your rectangle, but in fact it's here. Perpendicular height means the height when it's at a right angle. So our perpendicular height on this parallelogram is four centimeters. So six centimeters times four centimeters, which is 24 centimeters squared. Okay, one other thing you need to know through the task is this. Now this is a regular pentagon. And what I mean by regular is that all the sides are the same length. So in this pentagon here, all of my sides are five centimeters. So if I was to work out the perimeter of this, that would be five centimeters plus five centimeters plus five centimeters plus five centimeters plus five centimeters. And that would equal 25 centimeters. Okay, so that's what you need to know to do the tasks. What I'm going to do now is go through some of the tasks you're going to be asked to do. And like I said before, what you're asked to do is the same, but the questions are slightly different. So here's the first one, the task on perimeter. I haven't done the first page, the first question, because it's all about measuring. And this one here, find the missing length, the shapes are not drawn to scale. So on this one here, it's a regular pentagon, so all of the sides are the same length. So that will be nine centimeters, as will this, and this, and this, and this. So my perimeter 
is 9 plus 9 plus 9 plus 9 plus 9 plus 9 and that's 6 nines which is 54 centimeters. This one here is a rectangle and as I said before these two sides are the same and these two sides are the same. Now it's slightly tricky, it gives you the perimeter and it wants you to find this missing side here. So I know all of these add up to 28, I know this is 8 centimetres, these two add up to 16 centimetres. So that tells me these two missing sides add to 16 to give you 28. So if I take 16 away from 28, that will give me 12 centimetres. So I know these two sides add up to 12, but they're both the same. So if I divide this by two, that will give me a missing side of six centimetres. This one here is a rectangle, like before, but this one you've got to work out the perimeter. So these two are the same, these two are the same, and it's simply a question of adding them together. Equilateral triangle. That's a regular polygon. So these sides are all the same. Okay, so if these sides are all the same, one side is going to be 24 divided by three because there's three equal sides and that will equal eight centimeters. Okay, so that's the worksheet on perimeter. Let's move along now to area. And it starts off, I didn't really talk about this. It starts off by counting, counting squares. So you can see this here, it may be difficult to see, but what we've got here are a number of squares. To find the area of this, we add up the squares. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. So the area of this rectangle is 21 centimeters squared. Now these other shapes, you can work out the area by counting number of squares. I'm just gonna do one of them. I'll do the hardest one here. So if I draw the lines going along, I can count the whole squares first. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I've got two half squares here. That makes nine and two half squares that makes ten so my area of this shape is ten centimeters square now we're using our formula to work out the area of a rectangle and again remember the area of a rectangle is base times height so this one, the area is going to be eight centimeters times two centimeters, which is 16. And again, remember your units, centimeters squared. We have a square here. So the area will be three times three, which is nine centimeters squared. This one here will be two times seven, which is 14 centimeters squared. This question here is slightly different it's giving you the area and one of the lengths. You've got to find the other dimension. So to work this out, we go backwards. Instead of multiplying, we're dividing. So D will be 21 centimeters squared divided by seven, which equals three centimeters. Okay, so that is area of rectangles. That's your second task. The third task, <coughs> is moving on to triangles. This is the first question. So in all of these, you've got to work out the area of the triangles. And your formula is area equals base times height divided by two. So let's choose a question. Let's do this one here. So area will be the base which is 5 times the height which is 6 divided by 2 
So five times six is 30, divided by two is 15 centimeters squared. And all of the other questions are similar to that. Um, yeah, they're all the same. Base times height divided by two. And to be honest, it doesn't really matter which way round you do it. I could have done six times five divided by two. I still would have got the same answer. The next question is slightly harder. What we've got here are some compound shapes. And what these compound shapes are, they've got two different shapes joined together. Here I've got a rectangle and a triangle. Well, let's be honest, in both questions I've got a rectangle and a triangle. And what I would do, if that line wasn't there, I would draw it. Then I would label each shape. Then work out the area of each shape first. Now this one, the area of A, it's a rectangle, so it's base times height. So it'll be six centimeters times three centimeters, which is 18 centimeters squared. The area of B, because that's six, so is that. So the area of B is base times height divided by two because it's a triangle. Six times two is 12 divided by two is six centimeters squared. Now that I've worked out the area of each shape, my total area, all I've got to do is add them together. So my area of this is 18 centimeters squared plus six centimeters squared, which is 24, excuse me, centimeters squared. And that's how you find the area of a compound shape. Now our fi the final task you have to do is parallelograms. Remember the parallelogram area is base times perpendicular height. So here's my base. Which one of these is my perpendicular height? This line meets the base at a right angle, so I know it's this one. I don't need this one. So my area is seven centimeters times four centimeters, which is 28 centimeters squared. This one here is my base. This is my perpendicular height. So the area will be 12 centimeters times nine centimeters which is 90, 108 centimetres squared. And on this one, it's the same process. I haven't got a calculator on me, but it's over there, so I'm not gonna go and get it, but it's the same process. 9.7 centime centimetres times 3.2 centimetres, and the answer to that, and I expect you want to use a calculator, will give you the area. Then the final page, On these ones, we're going to go backwards. We've got to find the missing length. So again, I'm identifying that's my perpendicular height and that's my base. So I don't need this. That's my perpendicular height and that's my base. So I don't need this. That's my perpendicular height and that's my base. So I don't need this. Before we times, to find our missing side, we have to divide. So I've got an area of 27 centimetres squared. I've got a base of nine centimetres. So my perpendicular height, H, will be 27 centimetres squared divided by nine centimetres squared, which is three centimetres squared. This one here, I've got an area of 60 centimetres squared, a perpendicular height here of six centimetres. So my missing side B, will equal 60 centimetres squared divided by six centimetres, which is 10 centimetres. Okay, so hopefully, if you needed help, that's helpful. Some of you may find this very, quite easy or quite straightforward and want something harder to do. If you do, let me know either through 
Google Class or email and I will set you something harder to do. Okay, you take care and keep safe. Thank you.